What is up, everybody? Here we are today with a Patreon deck from Tib Troopin. This is old school OG Sandstorm deck. Back when Razorback was super broken, this is like the old school Razorback, Razorback Sandstorm deck. I will say that actually this is the old school deck. Because uh, Liang was super broken, but Tib Troopin wants me to play Jackson, I guess, because Liang is horrendous now. So it's almost the old school deck. But yeah, this deck was the best deck in the game, like not close. For a, for a reasonable period of time, this was the best deck in the game. You just went Missile Razorback, and then you made Sandstorms, and they had like... They had like 4,300 hit points, and Liang made them indestructible. Like a Sandstorm would beat... A Sandstorm with Liang used to beat two Missile Troopers. Like Sandstorm would beat two Missile Troopers, with, yeah, at the same time. It was super dumb. The Liang basically made it indestructible. Okay, anyway, that is obviously not the case anymore. It's uh, it's a lot weaker than it used to be. But we're going to play it pretty much in the same way. We're going to play the same deck, same same style. We're going to raise a bat missile to get up to our tech unit. We're not going to go too hard. We're just going to live on the raise a bat missile life. And yeah, we should be should be good. So we're up against Ron Nap. See what Ron Nap is planning. I'm going to send the rifles over here in case he double halves. I might be able to block it. Probably won't be able to get there in time, but just in case. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, feels bad, Ronald. Feels bad. We've all been there, Ronnie boy. Don't worry about it, man. We've all had this happen at least once. No shame. No shame in getting your half blocked. It's a natural part of growing up. So it happens to, happens to every young boy at some point. Man, feels bad. Look how far this harvester is away from his Tiberium now. <laughs> what is that turret, dude? I'm obviously just gonna walk away. All right, let's get this Pipple over here. Actually, probably should focus on winning the missiles. Let's do that. All right, one minute missile. Not the best, not the worst. Let's get a Predator and go over here. Lil, sniped. What now, Ronald? Ronald McDonald? We didn't even make missiles or Razorback. This is not this is not the standard way to play this deck. Juggernaut, of course it's Juggernaut. If only there was a way to beat Juggernaut. If only Juggernaut wasn't the best unit in the game, and then we had some outs to Juggernaut. Alright, we killed the Juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jug. Oh, big Jugs. Alright, well that was, uh, that was, uh, that was a close game. Both teams fought hard. But there can only be one victor. Alright, nailed it. Get a sandstorm. Mission accomplished. Ragnar! Alright, Ragnar. Let's go and have a look at what Ragnar's up to. What have we got? We've got Surrender. Okay. Well then. Huh. Rama? <laughs> Rama? <laughs> Excellent. This guy is going to be ecstatic when the battering ram comes out, and he can ram 24-7. I'm actually thinking, yeah, half go here. I'm going to send the rifles right over here in case he blind double halves. I want to be able to block that. What's up, Rammer? What are we doing? Come on, man, make a decision. What was his alliance name, Volumes? I didn't see. What did, what's going on? Why isn't he doing anything? My guy, what's up? Building online. Am I getting baited? Oh, barracks! Barracks lasers! Alright, 40 seconds into the game, he makes his first unit. And there's a half. Is that his first half? A second half, right? Okay, second half. Alright, alright. We're not completely living in Madland. That was super weird. That was just such a weird start to a game. Like, Rammer, what are you doing, dude? Seriously. You should consider your options when playing Commander Conquer Rivals. Air Tower. Right here. Air Tower. Was it here? Where does it spawn? I don't remember. 
I think it's gonna spawn here, right? No air tap. What's happening? We're going straight to Tekla. Barracks Temple. Rama, what are you doing? <laughs> Bro. Make a play, dude. What's happening? Okay. This is like the least compelling video of all time. All my opponents just keep conceding. What the hell, Rama? What? what? He only made one unit the whole game. Alright, well. I don't even... I don't even understand. I'm so confused. You are victorious. All right, Commander Ace. Please, please play the game, dude. <laughs> please, please let me have some games of Command & Conquer Rivals today. Dog opening. Nice. This guy already has units. I like it. We're going to go block his half. We're going to be that guy. Missiles. No half? What's happening? Shock troopers. All right, you got it, Chief. So we want to go raise back as quickly as possible here. Get some more rifles. We're gonna make rifles and missiles to fight until we can afford a razor back. Another set of shocks. That's pretty scary. We definitely want to stall the missile here. Because we need to get to the razor back. I don't even know if this razor back's gonna be quick enough. I think it isn't. Yeah, it's not looking great. We're gonna have to boost it, I think. Have to kill this guy before he gets across. Nice. Alright, cool. We did just about do it in time. It was super close, though. Yo, Commander Ace, where are your units? Did you go double half, Commander Ace? Did you build a second harvester thinking the missile was over? No, he didn't. Oh, he doesn't have a harvester, does he? Because he went straight into the shocks. Yeah, I remember now. Yo, this guy's nuts. Commander Ace, what are you doing, fam? What are you doing, bro? Can't no half GDI, dude. That's not. <laughs> it don't. It don't be that way, man. You can't just no half GDI. It doesn't. It's not a real thing. There's, okay, this has been the most surreal. This has been the most surreal run I've done. Like the games have, have been so weird. He must have just forgotten to make a harvester. That's the only thing that makes sense. Get the predator over here. But dude, the game is now over. <laughs> His harvester never even made it to the Tiberium. This this has been the weirdest run, man. This has been the weirdest. We're getting like no no real games here. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New Alright. Doll Rock. Let's see if this guy plays the game. Unit ready. I see some missiles. I don't see a harvester still though. Has he moved it over here? Yo, you get a gold star if you moved your harvester, Dor Dor Dorok. Nice, gold star for Dorok. Alright, let's see what he does next. Rhinoceros. Alright, well. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna retract his gold star yet, but I definitely think Rhino is a is a loose choice. Okay. Once to then, kind sir. A pit bull. Okay, okay. I like pit bulls. I can get on board with this. Just gonna kill this turret. It's usually the best way to deal with them. I'm a little bit concerned about his answer to Predator Tank being nothing, but you know. I can't always have an answer to Predator Tank in our deck. Dude, I've done so little missile razorbacking today because no one's been able to beat Predator Tank. Or just like Rifleman. I have one game where I've had to make a razorback. APC. Dude, that is not. That is not the answer to double Predator, I promise you. Uh, kind of want to go Sandstorm, but the game's going to be over too quickly. Okay, well, um, 5 0, I guess? I might play a ladder game with this deck because these games have been so. 
so underwhelming, like, I mean, <laughs> that's it, right? We, we 5 0 would Okay, that was silly. That was silly. Let's do, let's do a couple more games with this deck, because that was real, that was real dumb. Uh, there's the Titan deck. Where's the, there we go. There's the Razorback Sandstorm deck. All right, let's play some ladder with this deck. Hopefully, we can uh, get some slightly more interesting games. Cause those credit blitz games were real, real dumb. All right, so we've got a harvester and a barracks. And then, sir, a shock trooper. All right, so we get second rifle. We put them together to try and concave the shock. And then we want to go razor back ASAP. I actually used to play this deck with Mohawk instead of Predator. Back when I, but back when this deck was real popular, I'd play Mohawk uh, so that you could fight vehicles when you went air tower. Uh oh, that is really bad. Um, yeah, this is real bad for me. I'm gonna have to make a missile and then I'm gonna have to make a razor back. Sucks. I need the razor back to protect the missiles from the shocks. And I need the missiles to take out the talons, which they're not very good at. Right, go on, missiles. Get the job done, mate. And now we need to go Pitbull. Alright, now, so we might have still long enough to get to Pitbull. Once we get Pitbull, we should be okay. Go kill this one. Let me build a Pitbull game. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna boost it because there's so many talons. Alright, nice. Now we're gonna win the missile. Feels good, man. Cool, 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 cool. And since that missile was super long, we're actually pretty close to tech now. So I'm just going to pop a sandstorm. Live the dream. Ooh, he also has tech. My tech does beat his tech at the moment. Sandstorm does obviously beat Wolverine. So I think we will just go for a sandstorm. Unit lost. Unit lost. This is where I would normally Liang back in the day. <laughs> Heal up all of these free. It's just super GG at that point. Gonna get missiles because I need something. And I suspect there'll be a Titan soon. Yep, obviously. Predicting the units your opponents make is real easy in Rivals. Because all people play exactly the same units. GG, Juggador. Juggador 10? Good game, Juggador 10. All right, up against Sambuka, my boy Sammy D. So we want to play slow in this matchup. We don't want to charge, we want to stall, because we have a tech unit and also, well, multiple factors. Firstly, we have a tech unit and I don't think he does. That's one reason to stall. Secondly, the deck is kind of expensive. Like it, it is like to get all of my buildings, to get the razor back out is kind of costly. So you want more time on the first missile. Um, and finally, he's playing Jade, so the worst thing that can happen is you just get punked on first missile and they base kill you. That is the absolute worst case scenario, so you really want to avoid that. All of these things combined means that I really want to be stalling, not charging the missile. Alright, so we win that rifle fight. Although we do have a bunch of, of garbage level, like, one hit point riflemen. So we'll go Razorback. Uh, we didn't really need to switch though. Like, it's probably, probably was a misplay to switch, actually. I just wanted to get the Razorback missile life going. And we'll start following up with missiles, obviously. There's a stank, but we have the missiles. So we want to get missiles over here. Mm. I need to be careful not to lose this missile to this stank. There we go. Here comes some chems. We're going to boost the razor back over there to deal with them. And we need more missiles to deal with these bikes. All right, nice. So we fire first missile. And then we hide behind our missile wall, as is the, the standard Razorback plays. Again, this is where I would Liang normally, and heal the Razorback back up, if I was playing the Liang. This deck was, was insane when Liang was broken, because you also had Liang steal. Like that first missile, I like, would just Liang his back pad and easily won it. So yeah, Liang, Liang made this deck completely toxic. Alright, and of course we can now, because the first missile was so long, it was almost two minutes, we can build a sandstorm. 
And then our options are park sandstorm on pad and win game or go for his base. If we go for his base and we get the sandstorm there, then again, you pretty much just win the game. Oh, mislicked. Mislicked, mislicked. Oh, didn't lose it though. It feels good. We'll get a fresh razor back here. He's going to Jade Missile this, so I'm not going to pressure it. Yeah, there it is. We're going to move the Harv on because the Harv will survive the Jade Missile. And then we win the missile. Very nice. See, I didn't want to put more units around the Sandstorm because I knew he was going to Jade Missile it. Objective complete. Alright, so there's a couple of games to round it out, because obviously the credit blitz was kind of nonsense, but we had a couple of decent games there on ladder. Um, so yeah, there is the old school deck, so much better back when you had Liang. When you had Broken Liang, it was just insane, this deck. Like, the Sandstorm also had like another 600 hit points, so it was much harder to kill, and Liang has percentage heal, so it healed more. Razorback also had more hit points back then. So yeah, the deck was super gross, um, but I'm sure you all remember it. You can probably go and watch one of my old videos of me playing a deck like this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that, the old school Sandstorm deck from Tib Troopin, and I'll see you next time.